Accutrex has been in business since November of 1980. We started with a handful of people and year one revenues were in the vicinity of $600,000 and now we've grown to three locations over 250,000 square feet of manufacturing facilities and uh, are a multi-state organization. We started with the Collaborative Robotics April 2018. In a little over 14 months we've run about a thousand hours of runtime on stamping presses, press brakes, and machining centers. We've automated laser robotic welders, panel benders, and so on, and nobody has lost their job as a result of it. I came to Accutrex in 2012. I came on as a welder. I just did regular hand welding at that time. And then I transitioned into robotic welding. We started programming the robotic welders. When we decided to bring in uh, cobots, that's when I was pulled out to lead that project to implement robots, advance that more and more, which we've been doing, so it's very exciting. The benefits I've seen working with the robots here is that when I get that robot set in motion, I can be focused on the next job. And that kind of carries over throughout the shop. We're not sure exactly if a job is going to be a good fit until we try it. It hasn't been easy 100% of the way. There have been some challenges with respect to implementing the Cobot. One of the biggest was taking a newer piece of technology and getting it to communicate with an older piece of technology's PLC controls. And one of the ways our guys did that was we implemented pneumatic actuators inside of foot pedals on both a stamping press and also a press brake. So basically we created a human foot to cycle the equipment as opposed to the electronics of the robot firing a PLC control to the machine's PLC control to create a machine cycle. We basically just gave the machine a foot. We've run 21 unique different parts that we've had runs on and a lot of those parts we had multiple runs on. We've produced over 67,000 parts um, just in the last year. The Cobot is capable of running um, these jobs multiple times. So when we would like to, in the future here, implement more robots, we're looking to get more units in. Uh, while those machines are running, um, we could have other robots either assist or run separate jobs. And that's really where we're gonna generate a lot of the return on this investments here with the robots. And they're really gonna start generating some, some real money here for us. One of the best pieces of advice I would offer to businesses is, is to think outside the box with respect to their applications for their cobot. It's not always going to come to you easily, but uh, start with some small wins and then grow it from there. And you're not always going to win. There's going to be failures, but uh, my acronym for uh, FAIL is first attempt and learn it. If I could give any small to medium-sized manufacturers a piece of advice, uh, the biggest thing would be collaborate with their local manufacturing extension partnership to really get into the business side of implementing the Cobot.